Well, good day, everybody. This is Joe Van Cleve, and uh, my friend Mitch sent me uh, some of these rubber grommets that are actually feet for my Hermes rocket. And I have the typewriter right here, and I'm going to try replacing these feet, not knowing what I'm doing, actually. We'll see if I can do this. Stay tuned. <music> Well, this is a 1953 Hermes rocket, and the bottom of the machine has these rubber feet that are now worn down to just flat little nubbins. So I'm going to have to take this typewriter apart, take the mechanical chassis out of the inside of it, and get to the bottom, peel off the felt underneath, and try to get to these feet so I can take off the old ones and put on the new ones. So there are two screws on the front, two on either side, and one in the back that you want to take off in order to uh, get the body panels off. Take your time, don't drop them. And then you want to open up the ribbon covers and slide the uh, top forward. You'll have to spread the sides out a little bit, and then you want to pull the back panel off toward the rear to remove both panels. And then from there, you want to lift up the front of the typewriter by the space bar and then slip it out of the bottom, making sure you don't cut your fingers on the sharp little edges that are there on the chassis. And then you're going to carefully pry off the felt just on the corners of each part of it to gain access to the old foot. And it's going to be hard, almost plasticky. And you just want to break it off with a little screwdriver, pry it off, clean off the hole, and then get your new grommet and you want to turn the bottom of the machine upside down and you'll find that around the hole where the foot was is a lot of old plasticky hard material that you're going to want to carefully scrape off without scratching the paint on the typewriter. And when you get that off then you're going to carefully push the new foot on. There's a little groove on the new rubber foot and you want to press it in and rotate it to make sure the groove is properly seated. And you're going to repeat the same procedure on, on the other three corners. Now that we have access to the bottom, we could decide to replace the felt bottom if it was in bad shape, but it is glued on. You're going to have to scrape all the felt off and I think the felt is good enough condition right now that I'm going to go ahead and just put the, the unit back together. So I'm going to get the mechanical chassis and I'm going to just reverse the procedure, set the back of the machine in first, making sure the hole is centered in the back and then set the front down into the base, making sure the holes are centered. And then slip the back panel on to the unit and then when you put the front unit on, the front main cover, you're going to have to slide it on carefully so as to uh, go underneath the manual reversing levers for the ribbon. So you have to fiddle with the cover to get it on underneath those two reversing levers, as I was doing here. And when it's finally seated into place, you'll be able to snap the ribbon covers on to hold it in place. And then you want to line up all the holes in the body panels. Again, just Put the screws in carefully, uh, start them, don't tighten them down all the way, get them all put in first, and uh, get the body panels nice and straight before you tighten down all the screws. Here we are, we have our Hermes rocket, recently repaired by Bill Wall over in Mesa, and look, we have our nifty rubber feet in place. So now I can do some typing on this machine and I won't have to worry about it slipping around on the tabletop. Well, I want to thank my friend Mitch for giving me these rubber feet. I don't have uh, the exact source of where I, where Mitch got these from. If I find out from him, I'll drop a comment down below where you guys can find some yourself. But I can measure the size of this foot approximately. So the the overall diameter is 14 millimeters. The foot part is four millimeters thick and the little bump that goes up inside the body of the typewriter is 10 millimeters in diameter and the overall thickness of it is about eight millimeters. So that should give you a pretty good idea of uh, how to go to a hardware store and find one of approximately this size. Well there you go, more grippiness. 
Hermes rocket, good to go. Well, I hope this was enlightening to you guys. Until next time, this is Joe Van Cleve. Stay creative and have yourselves a great day. Bye-bye.